Remember in the last video? Alright. <coughs> I was parched. Alright. Alright, so we're doing our coming out stories. If everybody has a problem with like, coming out, you know, we're going to do that. So my coming out story, it was like, to make the long story short, the long story short, short, whatever. It was like, my mom went through said like, the first time I told her, she was like, you know, she was like, you know, you can catch diseases even if it's anything to do. And I was like, that's common sense, mom. Next time, she had called me, um, <clears throat> being nasty. I was, you know, I was, um, with this girl at the school, ain't nobody was home. Y'all know the story, y'all know how I get down. My mama called us. And at first, she was just standing in the doorway and then she walked off. And then, <laughs> and then, she came back and she was just screaming or whatever like that. Then the third time, it was like, I, I told her, like, hey, and I was like, Mom, you want me my girl? And she was like, yeah. So when she met her, we went out to eat all that, 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 that. I only introduced my mom to, like, three girls in my entire life. And I've been through a lot of girls, and I ain't gonna lie. So, to have only three girls, the next time the girl I introduced my mama, we better be going out. We better have the potential to last for a long little time. My but, sister. Any other little mother trying to holler out because baby, um, yeah, my, my sister don't play that. We're not gonna put her name out yet because you know, mm -hmm. of circumstances. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, I'm coming out story. Uh, my mama, like, I used to, when I started just like a little boy, my mama asked me, she's like, You gay? And I was like, No, I'm a tomboy. You know, that little lie right there. But then she found a note. That some girl wrote me, you know what I'm saying? So she read it. She asked me about it. And I ain't lying. I was like, yeah. So I hear she knew or whatever. Now my daddy, who? Nigga lied, 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 lied. So one day, me and him got into it. He was just like, and bitch, you think nigga don't know you gay? You know what you think? Don't nobody know you dyking? And I was like, you know, a little quiet up and down. Now the rest mm -hmm. of my family, I don't give a fuck. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Because to me, who are y'all? The only people take care of me is my mom, my pop, or and my auntie, my titty. Yeah, this is how we at y'all, my mm -hmm. titty. But, um, yeah. Now, for a lot of people that have struggle coming out, you know what I'm saying? Cause they been, I'm sorry, my baby texting me. Either if people, you know, are pastors or they are church like, or they, they don't believe in a man, I mean, a woman and a woman. No, like, I mean, and my baby. I want to let y'all know my baby. Y'all see me childish. She real childish. Anyway, like she was saying, so, I mean, it's hard. Because I know it was hard for me knowing that my grandma is a pastor. I didn't know how to tell her. Don't judge me. I didn't know how to tell my grandma. Y'all see what I put up with? So, the way I told my grandma was, I found the scripture. In the, in the Bible, and basically it was saying that God, on um, judgment day, He wants to see you exactly the way you are, personality and all. And I was like, that's how I want to show Him. I don't want to be fake. I don't want to be something I'm not. I don't want to change my lifestyle. And deep side, deep inside, I'm like, I really, I really looking at this girl booty, and I shouldn't, but I'm looking at her booty because it looks nice. It looks nice. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. But my mom accepted it. My grandma accepted it. My brother accepts it, and my brother's only ten. Um, and for everybody else, I really don't care. I mean...